in this video I'm going to be putting on seat covers on a Ford Focus 1.5 TDCI 2015 model so that's Mark 3.5 now this is the name of the company I bought off and it worked out at about 60 UK pounds uh, so elegance I bought this from eBay and it's meant to be a custom fit for as you can see Ford Focus 2011 and above now it comes in different parts of course in the kit you've got some string it looks like Dacron thick Dacron some hooks the instructions when you look at it if you look at 3B and 3A and also 7B and 7A gives you options of either using those hooks or using the string as a an anchoring attachment now it comes in different parts, it fits only the Ford Focus uh, apparently. So this part here where the armrest goes it suits the Ford Focus because on the left side is where the armrest is. So it's not one of those ones you zip up and down and change over it depending on the uh, where the armrests are. Uh, so you've got the left rear, left rear is in two parts. So this comes off separately, so that's two parts in the left rear. Uh, right rear, top half, bottom half. You've got a middle bit for the armrest and the front part on the uh, driver's side UK is one piece and one piece for the passenger side UK. Now, if you look there, it says airbag. I'm predicting that the airbag is going to be on the driver's side because on this side on the right on the left side oh there's also an airbag thing there so the airbag so I obviously uh, one way round only can't get them the wrong way round which is fine no you can get them the wrong way round because if I put this one over this way the airbag is not on the inside of the uh, uh, seat it's on the outside of the seat so make sure these airbags signs on the outside of the seat so there is a particular way around to them and you've got one three or five headrests and uh, the only thing is that the bottom of the driver's seat and passenger seat there is a plastic shroud i'm not sure i haven't got my trim removing until uh, this location right now so i wonder if i can do it with a soft tool somehow because i've got my trim removing to elsewhere i may have to just do the rear seat or I may have to just, if you see me in a different, completely different location later on, if I swap locations because um, I need a trim tool and I don't want to break the plastic. Right, so I'm just going to bring it down to the car and try it. Right, so, that should of course, five headrests. And I think this is the rear one with the hole at the bottom. Uh, rear armrest, looks a bit different. Rear central front headrest, front headrest, and rear headrest. Um, so I've labelled them up so uh, it's easier to do. Uh, so I'm gonna forget. I think I'm only going to do the headrest to start with. So let's start with the headrest. Do need length of strings. Uh, the hooks come a bit. I'm going to do either or and a pair of scissors. That's probably all I need. Right. Right, start this long one. This one I put down as front armrest. It's actually the rear armrest, and <laughs> I think it's this way round up. Just looking at it, here is the cups, and I guess it makes sense when it's folded back. It's nice and neat, so it shows the uh, cups holders, and that's really nice. So I'm gonna, that's pretty logical. Slip that on and Velcro it. Pretty neat, eh? So I'll do that quickly. Right, something's not perfect about this, and uh, it's this little loop that is on the original fabric. That there's no hole to protrude through here, so getting it out is kind of awkward. You know, I'm gonna have to tug on this kind of thing. It's kind of weird. You can do it, but it's awkward. Not many people use the armrest on this. Once in a while, someone uses it, but still. I think it would have been better if it did fit and it kind of is a bit kind of iffy trying to push it in 
I'm not sure what in both pieces of material have been put on what it'll be like um, might not even be able to close it we'll see next I'll try a headrest and let's try the rear headrest so we'll have a, have a looking looking at it the two on the sides are bigger than the one in the middle so let's try the one on the middle first on the uh, rear armrest as it was stretched over the armrest I used a marker to cut a little slot in there so uh, I'm gonna slice right through with a sharp blade and then sew it back right so I cut a small slit for it a small straight slit and I just used uh, looping stitches two lots of it one from the inside one from the outside and that would do once the uh, the uh, little levers pull through it should be it will flatten out and it's slightly wonky well, although the stitching was good I didn't get the uh, location of this spot on so really mark your marker and the top of where that starts that's why I've got a kind of a bit of a, a hole then I had to kind of stretch it over. Looks okay. Let me do the job. It should have been. It should have been up the top, up the top there, not down here. Right. So <clears throat> the rear left bottom should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven plastic straps and I've just made a uh, use use this Dacron material uh, make it well, thread it through and just kept tightening it make sure these points here are taking into consideration there's a bit of a I'm sure that when anyone sits on it they won't really notice nice and tight that's fine see what the top is like we'll do that of course I'll cut the string off with well, the rear upper to remove this uh, utilities tray so carefully remove it, bend it in the middle when it comes out but there's also a sensor underneath and this sensor I have no clue what this is it was it threads through here through here I can't even remember which way they are but it's probably probably that way that way facing down so it should be going on like that and what that would be I have no clue there's the indent there and there's the indent there what is that no clue what that is never seen one like that before why would there be someone like that in the rear no clue anyway Okay, it gives you better access to the back of the, of the seat. Right, make sure the rear le uh, left top goes underneath the seat belt. Oops, can't see it. Middle seat belt. These holes here have to line up, of course, and the seat belt. Um, I mean, the, the little glass for the rear release. The difficult part is here. There's four of these little tags, and I think I'm just wondering whether or not it's, I've re stretched the two at the bottom uh, and tied them together. The two at the bottom I've tied together. These two, I'm not sure whether or not to put them underneath this uh, pivot point or on top. So, if it was to do that. You know what I mean? It'll be okay actually. So I'll tell you what I'll work out in a minute once I've worked it out. Well, those little hooks are useful for when you bring the straps. So we're still doing the left the top uh, rear. Bring the straps under and hooking them under on this little ridge. Well, it should do. It's just, just about enough. So once I've got this set up, once I've got all the hooks in these bows, I'm threading this piece of string in it through and it's just the initial thread and then I'm going to rejiggle it all 
and then uh, finally I hope the string will only be about that big in the middle right it kind of looks like that when I tuck everything in on one side one of them little springy straps fell off I hope I'm gonna tuck these in tuck them in properly um, one of the little straps fell off the back See the back of it looks a bit like that which is fine uh, one of them little springy straps fell off otherwise there should be one back there and so well I was going to sew it back on but another day perhaps I'll just keep it and make sure I've, I've kept it right the other side now in the uh, front now the only difference is make sure that this hole because it's not on both sides is in line with your say so the driver's side is the driver's side um lumbar support so here's the steering wheel tried to do what you film at the other side So make sure, I think on this car, this version, there's only one lumbar support on the driver's side. Lumbar support hole matches that thing there. It'll be a real pain in the arse if you put it all on and find out the lumbar support will not be poked up. This front bit of the shroud on the left hand side can just poke out like so. Just see the lever there, it just fits in there. And on the rear, I haven't managed to take off the plastic, there was a screw just there. Take that off and then it the whole thing kind of rattles but it doesn't come out yet. I should carry on. Very tricky. After it comes up there is a twisting movement. So it's not tugging it forward that way or putting it back that way. It's a twisting a twisting movement like so. There's the uh, final latch sit. And uh, it's neat. I mean, it's not going to come out because the back of it is has got that tied up in the back. And I can't, I can't take the cap off to take this off. There's no nut or anything like that because I can't take off the cap. But oh, yeah, there's honeycomb stuff. This is what I need it off for. And that you can see where my fingers point to. There's my thing. That latch there. That latch there is where that little plastic gets onto and then that was giving me a lot of problems. So a lot of times you find you buy cars and it's snapped off. Things are just snapped off and people didn't take their time taking things like this off. So now I can get underneath. Pretty sure this does not just come off like so and this is removed. And there is no nut there. Sorry if my finger keeps getting in the way of the lens or anything like that, but okay. So that's enough for me. Let's get it underneath and wrapped up. Right, I'm finding it more useful and easier to use the hooks while underneath on the front seat. You can see when the shroud has been removed, I can get underneath and just hook it onto somebody structure under there. It looks like underneath, I don't know if you can see it. But I've hooked these two strands onto a bar and then the rest underneath the spring structure. One last tip. See the little latch? It ain't gonna go back easy. So what I've done is if you look it's no longer parallel with the metal latch, I've bent it outwards. Once you bend it outwards it's quite bendable you can you can put the plastic on it and then you can just push it straight if you know what i mean clip it on like so it's nearly on now when it's parallel it's impossible and then once you do that just give it a shove along here and of course just do the front and never get put a screw on the back all i see is to show you the whole complete thing all right well this is filmed on my phone so it looks a bit different from my normal and it's uh i normally have a more wider angle lens it's much more zoomy yeah than usual so 
was good enough. Please hit the like subscribe button if uh, you're not really a subscriber. Thanks for watching.